It was almost like, you know, when your mom told you, if you keep your face like that, <laughs> it's, it's going to stay, stay that, that way. way. Hey there, Nomads of Lore. I'm Jonathan. And I'm Sean. <laughs> so let's talk about Galadriel. Galadriel. How are you feeling about her at this point? We've done some earlier videos. Check those out if you want mm -hmm. to. But we're going to start fresh. The fresh makeup. Absolutely. So it. after if if you did watch our other review, uh, you you already know. But if you didn't, the some of the choices that they made with Galadriel really really wrecked my enjoyment of the first two episodes. Like I I didn't hardly enjoy watching the first two episodes at all. I was very frustrated. Very very. I mean, I I texted Jonathan said we were watching it in separate places. And I texted him several times, what the heck am I even watching? This is, I was, I was really pissed off to put it bluntly. Yeah. Um, and so it was really, I was at, after the first two episodes, I was thinking there's no way I'm going to enjoy Galadriel's sure. part. And it's probably yeah. going to wreck the whole show for yeah. me. You know, and I want to stress that it's not because she's a warrior. We made a whole video talking about that. There's nothing in the lore that says she couldn't have picked up a sword. That's false. That's, you know, there's a whole chunks of time, especially in the second age, that we we yeah. don't know a lot about her. And she definitely was was prone to athletic feats. And and I know that doesn't that doesn't automatically equal warrior. We get that. But that's fine. It's it's not that she was a warrior, but they the way they were setting her up, I felt like after watching the first two episodes, I felt like they that you know they removed Kelvorn at which she should have already been married to and whatever, and they did a lot together at this point. You know, they 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 were in charge of the armies together and all these things, and that story could have been very interesting. And it felt like the reason they took that him out at, the, at least at this point in the story they may bring Celeborn back in that's possible but it felt like they were setting her up to be this lone independent lone wolf character who's as Jonathan has pointed out is hated by like everybody which is also extremely counter to her lore and the her, her character and everything else and this they were setting her up as this and it felt like they were the only reason they were doing that was because of woke nonsense i mean it really and it's and we're not we're we're very far from a, huge anti wokers we think both both ends are kind of of that log are being jumped off of the woke and the anti woke but it, it just really felt like they were wrecking it for only that purpose now after watching the third episode because we decided okay well i was i was frustrated and literally angry uh, about after watching the first two episodes, really frustrated and really disappointed and whatever else else, we decided to go ahead and torture ourselves and watch episode three. <laughs> and I personally, so far, am very glad that we did because whereas it doesn't fix some of the issues completely yet, what some of the choices, and we'll get into some more details on this uh, later in this video, but some of the choices they made, at least after watching this third episode, I at least have an understanding of, oh, that's why they had her get on a boat and head back yeah. to Valinor and some of these things. And that's, and there's some, I can see some justification for, okay, I see what they're doing within a TV framework and within the story. And so I am much more, okay, I actually really liked a lot of things in this episode, which we probably will talk about in other videos, mm -hmm. but, um, I can at least see, okay, it's got a justification and it's mm -hmm. not just a nonsense justification that may be a part of it too i you know i, yeah. I won't say that's not a part that's I, I don't know what happens behind closed doors or is there but i'm feeling more at least willing to give it a shot at this point okay my reasoning for not liking galadriel we both kind of had that that was kind of the central portion of the reason we hated yeah uh episode one and two was galadriel but his reasoning and my reasoning was a little bit different mm -hmm. My reasoning is just her, her, like, flatness. The Earth is actually flat. She was, so she's, far. she had no depth at all. She's just angry and hateful towards everyone around her. There was a few smiles cracked. I'm not trying to say that, button, but it was just barely there. Most of which were when she was a child. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And and it, it just, I, I. A lot of people probably saying, "Oh, it's, she's the man-hating feminist, the the whole woke thing, and all." That's not what I'm trying to say. She just is hateful towards everyone. It's just there's there's so extremely much extremely arrogant. Yeah, extremely arrogant. She's all about herself, and it doesn't it doesn't fit her character at all. 
that we know, you know, lore wise and, and her character, Not even in the strong, even in the mov- movies. Yeah. It, there's a difference between strong characters, mm-hmm. strong female characters and and strong independent female characters of yeah. another kind. Well, she was we definitely headstrong, that later, but she was but also liked as yes. well. Yes. And that's yes. that's explicitly stated. Yes. Yeah. So anyway, um, but now after this third episode, there is a little more depth to her character. She kind of, you know, she gets on a horse and she gets excited. I'm on a horse. That she's on a horse, you know, and 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 there's a little bit that she opens up, um, you know, in the library scene, and she's a little more like, okay, I can trust these people that I'm with. I can, you know, I can have a little bit of brevity because it was just so much just. Ah, uh, like her her face is almost like you know when your mom told you if you keep your face like that, it's, <laughs> it's gonna, gonna stay, stay that, that way. way. And, it felt like hers and it was stuck felt like her <laughs> was stuck that way for the first two episodes. So anyway, I'm seeing a little bit of light at the tunnel and at the end of the tunnel, and I'm I'm not I guess in the middle of the tunnel, whatever. And I'm okay, I think, with continuing to watch it and right. at least give it a chance, like we talked about. So so where does that leave us? What you know? Now that we're in episode three, what are the things that we think that they're going to have to to do, continue to do? Where are they going with this? You know, does it suck? Right. Is it going to suck? <laughs> yeah. Is it going to be good? And we don't know. I think we're no. both a little more at the place where we were with Wheel of Time, where uh, there's a lot of stuff, and specifically with Galadriel, as we're talking about in this video, mm-hmm. that is a, a little bit of a wait and see uh, yep. sort of a thing. We're, we're both having more glimmers of hope that it's going to be at the very least watchable and that at the very least I'm not just angry watching this and why am I torturing myself? Yeah. Um, and I think the biggest thing for Galadriel that we're hopeful for as they push forward and, and we've seen sort of glimpses of, but is, and that is, it's, a fully fleshed out, well-rounded character. It's kind of like what Jonathan kind of was was alluding to earlier, where there's more to just a strong female character, and and it's the same as there's more to a strong male character, whatever, you know, a, a strong dwarf character or just, whatever. Just, just because we want to have a strong character doesn't mean they can't have flaws. Yes, and I think and they that's where the flaws. exactly that's yes. where the the realism comes in, and the mm-hmm. just because you're wanting, just because if maybe maybe the reasoning behind her being a strong character is woke reasons or or whatever just because they we want a strong female character because we don't have that in film today or or whatever which is not true and not we can go down bit. that but <laughs> yeah, we don't have can, to talk about that <laughs> but i'm just yeah but i'm just saying even if you want that if you want that character to be likable you have to have flaws in that character you have to have or relatable where, or too. Yeah. relatable mm-hmm. where she where she or he leans on someone just because it's a female doesn't mean yeah. she has to rely on a man it could be another woman that she leans on yeah. that a friend or or somebody she can confide in yeah. or a man who who mm-hmm. leans on a woman to to give him strength whatever it is there has to be some realism mm-hmm. to that character, or you're and just like, okay, great, it's a this weird thing right. that's not well, realistic. Well, think, think, I mean, think, I mean, I actually really like Captain Marvel, the film, but think, I mean, Captain Marvel, and that character is pretty flat. Like, she's a strong female character, like, in the fact yep. that she's literally physically yep. strong. She felt more like a god. Strong. Right. But she's, goddess. I mean, I really like the film. I enjoy in, in, Oi, Captain yep. Marvel. I like the film. I like the comics of Captain Marvel. I enjoy it quite a bit. I think Jonathan enjoys it for, at least fairly well as, as yeah. well. But she's not as, in, like, it's that character intri- in a TV show mm-hmm. would be much less interesting over the long haul. And it's more, yeah. less, and it's, so we're, we're hopeful that Galadriel's character continues to show depth and not just be, you know, there, I think there might be a tendency for Galadriel uh, in this show. Uh, the fear is that she is always right. And that she's just, yeah. you know, and yeah. we should see wisdom of the elves, wisdom of the Eldar, right? We should see that. That should be, that should absolutely exist. And she's a wise character, although she, a lot of her wisdom in later Tolkien, as, as we talked about in, in, you know, that video we've already done about Gladiator, a lot of her wisdom comes from her, her backstory of being brash and being, which we're seeing some. Mm-hmm. And, and so that's, and so we're great with seeing the brashness and what, and so hopefully we continue to see depth and, and complexity. So I think that's going to be really important. Um, her relationship with Haldir is a question mark. Um, I think it could have the potential to have what we're, um, add some of what we're talking about mm-hmm. of having that back and forth and a, a mutual reliance and a yeah. character. And it, it's, I was afraid that they were going to push that 
uh, story into a more romantic place. I am after watching episode three. I'm less concerned. I think that may, they may it, it may they may end up having more mutual respect sort of care, which and that could be good um, and really great. Um, we can, when we do other videos, we may talk more about how dear and where we're feeling about it right now. Or yeah. Whatever. I'm I'm very uh, on the fence as at present, but I'm willing to give it a shot shot. So yeah. I think the bottom line is we're both a lot more hopeful uh, cautiously. Um, <laughs> it's, it's very clear that they're not going to, they're not going to be perfect with the lore, but as we saw with wheel of time, I think they can not be perfect and still capture some of the heart underneath. And we felt like that, that Amazon studios mm -hmm. did not, perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but did fairly well on that with Wheel of Time. And we're, yeah. we're now much more hopeful that they can do that with Galadriel's character, which is good because if Galadriel's character stayed Where infuriating, she was I think we probably would, would have been done. Mm -hmm. um, but after episode three, this might could work as, as a, <laughs> an, at, at the very least acceptable show, if not potentially really good. That's Agreed. I think I, yeah is that that all we have that's, on on Glad that's all folks. <laughs> yep. We will we will see you next time. Don't forget to like, leave us a comment and let us know where you're feeling with Galadriel and and how you're doing. Have you totally dismissed it or dismissed her and she's not show. it or the yeah. show uh it being the show and mm -hmm. her being Galadriel or uh are you willing to give it a shot and we we definitely had some comments on our our reaction that some of you are already giving it more of a shot than we were feeling up to yep. and so hopefully you'll stick with us on this journey as well thank you guys and have a great day <laughs>